Hello, hello darlings. Welcome back to the vlog. I hope you guys are doing well. So I know I've been quite MIA. I've been quite MIA because your girl has just been, I don't know. I don't know what has been happening with me, but I've just not been in the mood. I've been feeling really, really low. Um, I just, I just don't know what's been happening with me. Okay, I've not been in the mood to, to record, to post, to see anyone, to go anywhere. I've just been in my house, relaxing, um, reflecting, and just, yeah. Today I decided I'm gonna clean my house because I've not cleaned my house because I've just not been in the mood. So today I'm gonna um, deep clean. I'm going to hoover, mop, wipe, change the covers on my living room, change the covers on my bed, clean my bathroom. That's what we're doing today. Um, Cause it's been a few, yeah, I think it's been about a month since I last cleaned or a month and a bit. So join me. Let's clean this house and yeah, if you're not subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for babes. Subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, TikTok also, where I share all things fabulous. Um, today is Mother's Day in London, in the UK and um, I had a very slow morning. I'm even surprised that I'm up, you know, and able to film because I just miss my mum. Um, we didn't actually plan to go and drop flowers to, for her today, which we do every year. Um, you know, I guess everyone is just going through their own thing and processing things in their own way. And it's it's raining badly today as well. So I think we'll find time like during the week to go and drop some flowers for her. I just, I miss her so much, you know, I really, really do. And I pray that she's resting where she is. I don't know if they hear, if they see, but if she does hear or see, just know that I miss you so much. I just, I want my mum here, you know? I feel like we never stop needing our mothers, like guidance, just having her there, her love, you know? It's really, I just, I miss that. I miss her so, so much. It's been really, really hard. And I can't believe like this year, uh, December is gonna mark six years since she passed away. And it just feels like it happened yesterday. So yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to start cleaning the house now. And yeah, we'll catch up in a bit.
by the way guys i can't believe that i actually bought this in um i think october i bought this in october and it's lasted me november december january february march five months I've had this for five months. Last time, I only had it for three months and it was done. And Katie told me not to overload with the sticks because I had all the sticks they provided. So what I did, I took out like four from here, added some to my bedroom, took away from the other ones as well. I think I have another two months to go. Like I literally have another two months to go. Two, maybe even more. So I'm really, really happy with how I'm um, using this, but also I think last time it went so quickly because we were in the summer and there seems to be a, a ray of light which comes through this window and hits it directly. So I think that's also why um, it didn't last last time, but this is literally my favorite home scent. This is the Dr. Von Dress in Rosso Nuble. And to think the first time I went there, I'll link it down below. To think the first time I went to the store, I wasn't too crazy about this. And then the second time I went, I think sometimes when you smell so many different things, you get overwhelmed and you don't know which one you like. And the stronger scents tends to stand out where this is strong, but it's also quite subtle and it's very berry, like it smells really juicy. And uh, I think I will be definitely getting this uh, again. I think the one I got in the summer, to be honest, I feel like I would, this, I feel like I can get this all year round, it's fine. The only thing is that because the color is very is dark, it gives that winter feel, but the scent itself, I feel like it's for every season. I would probably get the other one, I can't remember what it was called, just because of the, the outlook, the packaging, because it's more brighter, it's more like lighter color. But in terms of smell, this is definitely my favorite. And I just love the packaging. I love long sticks. I think it's just the epitome of um, luxe. It's very opulent, very luxurious. It's giving all the vibes that we love. So yeah, definitely I recommend this. It's on the pricey side, but look at it this way. It lasts us a very long time. You can smell this from my passage. I have two, one in my passage, one in my living room. You can smell this from the bedroom, from the toilet, everywhere in this house you can smell this. It smells so, so good. One of the comments that people usually give me when they come into my house is how fresh, beautiful my house smells and how spacious. Although my house is quite small, it's a one bedroom flat. But yeah, I'm gonna deep clean. So I need to move this chair, move the table. Let's go, I'm gonna put some music because I was listening to preaching, but I feel like it's slowing me down. When you're doing this kind of stuff, you need upbeat songs. Let's put some gospel. Right, let's go. Have some water.
Lizard.
Hello darlings, welcome back to the vlog. I hope you guys are doing well. So it's been a few days, I think, since we last spoke. Let me turn on the, um, I'm going to turn on the lamp here so you can see me properly. Oh. I'm going to just, yeah, I think this is better. So... I was just on my Snapchat, actually. I was on my Snapchat and I was talking about something which I think is quite important. I don't know what's happening before we get into it. So today I want us to I want us to go through my PR packages which I have received recently. I have received from some amazing brands and I'm just so thankful. And I want to also show you Yes, yeah, so I've got beauty and clothing. I'm gonna do a, a quick try on later from Caramelin and H&M. So just quickly, I was talking on my snap and I was saying that I personally don't know what the world is coming into. Like people are actually so shallow and it's unbelievable and very pretentious. Like one thing about me is that I'm not shallow and I'm not pretentious at all. Like. And everyone in my life knows this. Although, by nature, I'm a lover of luxury. Um, I live and breathe luxury. I love it. And it's my job also. Um, but me personally, I also enjoy these things. But these things do not define me. And one thing I'm finding is that people online would laugh at you. I remember one time I posted a vlog and I was traveling somewhere, I can't remember what it was, and someone said to me, oh, why don't you ever travel first class or business class? And I'm just like, is it by force? What, how have we got to that place where we laugh at people for traveling, like, economy? How shallow can you be? Traveling business class does not define you, does not make you any better than the people who are in, in economy. It does not, it doesn't change your life. At the end of the day, when we die, we are all going to the same place. Well, some people are going to hell. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is we are, everybody will go back to the sand. We will all get buried the same way. Like flying business class or economy, it, it doesn't, to me personally, it doesn't matter. But because I'm not doing it, I'm not less than. Because you're not doing it, you're not less than. Do you know what I'm saying? One thing I don't want to do in 2024 moving forward is lie or um live in denial just because you don't have something you can say oh i'll never do that it doesn't matter yes it does matter but at the same time it doesn't define me like i was so disgusted by that and i even saw a lady talking about this on um tiktok she was like just because uh, people are not flying um, business class or economy, it doesn't make them less valuable than you are. Just because someone isn't holding a Hermes bag, it doesn't mean that they're less than you. Like, if we take away this Hermes, we take away this uh, business class, what are you left with? We are not defined by these things. And one of the things that I was talking about today, it was that people are now commenting, laughing at other people because they're wearing fakes. Like I've always said on my channel that I personally don't agree with wearing fakes. I personally would encourage you to buy something that's of a real quality. If it's a handbag you want and you can't afford it, I would rather you buy a real leather handbag than to go to the shops and buy fakes which is not real leather which will not last you even two three years it's a waste of money buying uh, purchasing designer goods or handbags is a great investment because if there's an issue with the bag you take it back to the manufacturer back to the store they can fix it for you at mostly free of charge, okay? Depending on the issue, anything, it could be a bracelet, it could be a bag, shoes, a lot of these shops will fix it for you without a charge, okay? Because usually there's a warranty, isn't it? And if there is a charge, you're not gonna be paying a big amount. So in the long run, you are wasting your money. That, But I would never call somebody out, go on their page, comment, make a story about them because they're wearing fakes. It's not my problem. It's not my problem. And it, it really makes me feel sick. To be honest with you, I didn't even plan on talking about this here, but because it's something that I just freshly spoke about, like it's in my head, I'm really like disgusted by people's behavior. It's like we 
we've become so we've become so consumed like so consumed with social media so consumed with all these pretentious things so consumed with designer so consumed with business class driving if somebody's not driving a range or a mercedes a class or you know whatever car you classify as a top car it's like we look down on people just because you weren't driving now that you're driving you're looking down on everybody that's not driving you now you've bought a house when you've been renting or living at your family home now that you've bought a house you're looking down on people who haven't bought a house make it make sense and this is what i always say yeah timing is everything in everyone's life this is why i personally don't allow anyone to pressure me into anything whether it's marriage whether it's driving whether it's buying a house all these things are great but the timing of your life the timing of my life are two different things when things are real when things are when the timing is right for me everything will happen i believe it because whatever i want to do is in my head and it's in the plannings there's certain things we cannot control how many people are in marriages and are suffering they want out how many the people that are pushing i always say this the people that push you the most to get married are the ones who want out they want out of their own marriage but they want to push you into a marriage make it make sense but what I really wanted to say is that let's stop shaming people because they're wearing fakes. It's not your business. They spent their money. Yes, we can advise them. You know what? It's better to buy quality because in the long run, it's better. But for you to be laughing, creating accounts, commenting on their stuff, posting stories and saying, yeah, 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 this person's wearing fake. Oh, if you see this, it's fake. Ah, uh -huh, this is fake, it's fake. Oh, your bag is fake. Ah, no, 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 Like... Are you okay? Have, have we really become? Is this what life has really become all about? It makes me feel really, really sad. Honestly, it makes me feel so, so sad that this is the kind of world that we're living in. People are so consumed with material things. Material things do not define us. It doesn't. The kind of person that you are, the impact that you live on people, um, it's, it's what makes you a good person. Having empathy, having a heart of care, a heart of worry, to take care of others. These are the things that matter. Th this does not matter. The day you die, no one's going to say, oh, she carried her Hermes bag, she was driving an A-class, she was driving this, she flew out always on business class. It doesn't even get mentioned, babe. It doesn't even get added onto your CV. Let's stop treating people like they're, they're rubbish because you have the money to travel on business class. You have the money to stay at a five-star hotel. What is a star five hotel? A five-star hotel, what is it? You've stayed at five-star hotels. Has it, what has it given you? Yes, it's given you a great experience. I'm not against it because I love these things too. But just because I do it, it doesn't make me better than the person who doesn't do it. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm sure they also have that. And this is another thing. The people who don't have the money to do the things that people are doing, stop hating on them. Stop criticising. Because the amount of times I've been on holiday, I'm posting a picture at a nice five-star hotel, and people are telling me, oh, you're, um, what? Potty Potter, Tam Hotel, Potty Potter is hard out here. It's like me, Potty Potter. Are you mad? Are you crazy? Like, let's stop. Um, let's stop putting everybody into a box and now babe it's 2024 no one needs to sell their booty in 2024 like if you want to sell your booty in 2024 go for it but it's not necessary you, there's entrepreneurs you can have a five a nine to five job and still afford to go on holiday instead of you finding your time instead of you using your time to criticize people using your time to throw hate using your time to, to to send bad energy and to make other people feel bad for living their life the way they want why don't you focus on creating the life that you desire because one thing i've realized about these people they desire to live the life you are living but they cannot afford to or they don't have what it takes to they don't have the courage to do what you do so therefore they start bashing you like me i'm not even speaking just for me i'm speaking for what i'm seeing online it, it looks like the world is becoming so all about materials the world is becoming so all about um 
the, the Hermes, the, the, the Prada, the Chanel. That if you're not doing this, then you're not that babe. If you're not doing this, then I just really want us to stop that because you don't know what you're, we don't know what we're doing to other people, you know? But let's stop bashing people for living their life the way they want. One thing I said is that I'm going to be unapologetic about the, t the kind of life I want to live, whether that's to a man, whether that is with my friends, with whoever, I'm gonna be unapologetic about it. I'm not gonna be around people who make me feel like I should want less to fit them into my life, whether it's whatever, family, friends, whatever. No, I like big things, I've always said that. And this is why I'm saying like, it's so important to know who you are and I'm still learning about who I am. And this year I may have made a conscious decision to learn more about who I am as a woman, as a friend, and at the core of me, who is Idrish? I know who I am, but I need to dig deeper. I really need to dig deeper into me and I advise that you do the same. You know, stop bashing people online for, for wearing fakes, stop. And the thing is, and what I was saying yeah, that's actually interesting, is the people who will bash others for wearing fakes are the ones who actually wear fakes everything in their wardrobe is fake so why are you now bashing other people whether it's influencers or just people online for wearing fakes when all you do is wear fake your whole life is fake see this is what i find it very hard to comprehend that you would say that someone's wearing a fake bag a fake sunglasses a fake shoe when you wear fakes make it make sense i'm so confused by this I'm very confused by this. If you decide to wear fake, that's it is on you. Me, my advice as a, as, a, as a content creator is to advise you to do better so that you can invest into the right things. If you want to invest in luxury things, you know, which type of things you should invest to, something that will always stand the test of time, something that will bring you your money back if you decide to sell it. But if you buy a fake handbag, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Unless, even if you buy a really good, quality if there's an issue something breaks because even the real designer bags they break when it breaks what's going to happen what's going to happen are you going to be able to sell it of course not so and this is where i this is where my mind is at when i'm telling you that you should invest your money in real leather things but i'm never going to look down on you because you don't have these things i just think the world is coming into an end honestly i don't know what is happening what's happened to humanity what's happened to people why you would call somebody out for wearing fakes when you yourself you wear fakes if he didn't wear fakes maybe i would understand but when you go to these people's page and you look at their stuff you're like nah this is not real but I'm not gonna go and comment on your thing and say that it's not real. I'll think it to myself and be like, oh, okay, it's their problem. Because I've worked in the luxury industry since the age of 20, right? I've told you guys, I've worked in, 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 in the biggest department store. I know what real is. I can look through a camera and say this is fake. Because I've worked in the industry, I, I know quality when I see it, you know? I know what the texture is like, the color, the stitching, the details, I can tell. But I'm never going to create a fake account. I'm never gonna be posting to say that this person is fake, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm never gonna leave a comment on someone's page who's on holiday, enjoying their luxury experience, make them feel like crap because this is the experience I want, but I can't afford it. It doesn't make any sense. I, will, I look at people's pages and be like, oh my God, I feel so inspired. Oh my God, this, like she's going on a holiday. She just bought this. I'm so inspired. I really want that as well. Okay, like that's how I look at things. But I don't look at p things to, to criticize people or to make them feel less than. Like where are we taking this to? Like flying first class, it, do, do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't make you anything. It's an experience and it's an experience that I, I would love to experience one day. A hundred percent, I want to experience it. But <laughs> my life doesn't depend on it. It doesn't. I feel like we're so caught up with trying to impress people online. Like, I, I don't want to live that life. I really do not want to live a life where I'm just here to impress people. 
like no 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 nah. and this is why i said i'm not going to take negative comments on my channel anyone who comes with this potty potter or whatever i will give it back to you because you have no right to come here and disrespect me you have no right to go and disrespect another person if somebody decides to go and eat poo that are you eating the poo with me please if i decide to go which will never happen god forbid over my dead body like we have i have to be real on this video guys i have to i have to because i've been seeing this comment i've seen it a few times someone even commented this on my tiktok i think last week and i just laughed because i said no 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 and after i went back so i can cuss this person but they deleted their comment i was just like you know what you don't you don't have no right no right to come to my channel and tell me that i eat poo for a living are you mad like are you mad when you guys are leaving these comments do you think to yourself even if this person is eating poo what is your problem you're not eating the poo with them are you if you are then i'll understand you have every right to speak every right to complain maybe you didn't get your cut like but if you're not eating poo also why are you complaining let them live their lives they will pay their price when they're paying the price yeah and god decides to and says this is the time for you to pay to pay for your sins that you've been eating poo because when you're eating poo you're selling your soul like people don't understand <laughs> ah jesus people do not understand what this thing is when you're telling someone they're eating poo do you know what you're saying to them so in order for a woman in her 30s to live in a nice house to travel to carry a nice bag drive a nice car she has to eat poo where's your sense where is your sense like are you not educated educate yourself because it, it it tells me which kind of household you come from it tells me that you're not educated because if you're basing that <laughs> do you know what i mean like it doesn't make any sense we're we're in the in, in the in the land of opportunities we're, we're, we're in the uk we're in europe we're in do you know what i mean like you can be whatever you want to be you can that like the world is your oyster you can be whatever you want to be you have every opportunity around the corner all you have to do is grab stop focusing your energy on what other people are doing honestly guys i'm sick of it let's go through my pr packages that i have received in the last few weeks so to start off i'm going to show you this massive box that i received from granado and this is the biggest diffuser i've ever received in my life <laughs> so thank you so so much Ta -da! this is what it looks like this is their latest collection from granado and it's this <laughs> i can't even take this out this massive figo diffuser look at that it's so big i'm so so thankful i cannot wait to use this it looks amazing and it also came with a liquid soap for my bathroom this is a body yeah i think this is also a body wash it smells really good um i think this wait ow i just love how luxurious this looks i can imagine this in my bathroom i love that this is glass also this is going to be perfect for my bathroom and there's more <laughs> they also sent me the cologne which i really cannot wait to use the top notes for all of them is orange black pepper uh, gardemon we've got fig leaves cedar i'll leave the rest of the notes on the screen because i think we'll be here for the whole day let me try and open this so we can get a smell this is what the bottle looks like thank you so much and let me spray Mm, I'd, oh this smells really nice it smells quite fresh it smells quite it smells quite oriental quite fresh it's quite different actually i think there's also jasmine in here it smells really really good is there jasmine in here no there's no jasmine oh it's the black pepper and i can't smell the sandalwood but it's the fig cedar and black pepper i can smell 
so you can say that it's also quite musky at the same time it's really nice it's very subtle this is a really nice fragrance for the summertime but this i think is unisex in my opinion men can definitely wear this off because of the black pepper spice and the cedar so we've got like unisex notes in here that men can wear too like it's not a sweet scent at all it smells quite green as well which i think is really nice lastly lastly from renardo we have a fig candle i cannot wait to burn this candle oh it smells so so good it smells so 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 good like look at that this looks so good i love yeah i just i love everything about the packaging this can blend anywhere in my home it smells so so good thank you so much to granado i just love this collection so so much i feel so blessed to receive these so thank you so so much this kind of looks like a rolex box doesn't it doesn't it doesn't it <laughs> also i received the ysl hyper finish powders this is the new i think hyaluronic um This is the new hyaluronic yeah this is a new hyaluronic acid infused bronzer so thank you so so much this is from selon ysl beauty i'm so happy to receive this i've been seeing so many babes talk about this on tiktok so i'm going to be trying it for you next week this is i'm just gonna open one look at the packaging please i have a um, I have a oh <laughs> I have a, a YSL card holder and it looks just like this. So this is really cute. And this is the bronzer and what it looks like. I cannot wait to use it. <laughs> I received mine in oh it doesn't say. It doesn't say 05. 05. So just look at that. So so beautiful. I'm so happy and i also received the powder which is here and the powder is there and the powder is in the black so this is what the powder looks like i've seen a few babes use this as an overall powder some have used it to like highlight the under eye um so i'm going to try it to set my concealer so that looks so so good i can't wait to use that and i also received this fragrance by narcisco rodriguez so that's what it looks like narcisco rodriguez fragrance this is the new music nude i have their all of me and uh, from narcisco rodriguez and it's one of my favorite scents it smells really beautiful very feminine i just love it so this one mm, i love this this is so good what are the notes oh my phone's over there i wanted to check the notes so they said that there's not really much about this but from the top of my head it smells quite oh no wait i need to spray it here because the other fragrance is interfering but i quite like the granado and this together it smells nice let me just spray this one here and just let it Mm, this is very feminine it's powdery it kind of reminds me of um coco mademoiselle by chanel mm, but this one is more soft yeah this one is more soft this one is more fun i really like this where i think coco mademoiselle is quite sparkling at the same time this is really nice perfect for date night perfect for many occasions and then we also have Narcisco Rodriguez Vit Vitiva Musk. Thank you so, so much. So 
So this is the men's fragrance and this one, let me smell it. This is very masculine, it's very masculine, it's very dark, it's quite sexy. It's, 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 a, it's a proper man's fragrance. Like it reminds me, what does it remind me of? It kind of reminds me of Chanel Bleu. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of Chanel Bleu. They smell quite similar, but it's a really nice scent for men. I like that. Okay, let's quickly unbox this one. What's in here? I didn't even know oh my god thank you so much this is from Mac guys this is from Mac I didn't even know I, I was on their PR oh my like you can see the shock on my face oh my god oh my god thank you so much to Mac You guys know that I love a chestnut liner. I, it's the only lip liner I use. I I bought one during the Black Friday sale because I knew I already had one. Because you know, like this lip gloss, lip gloss, this lip liner will last me a, a long time, right? Why is it every time I buy a MAC chestnut liner so that I can have another one in my house, one goes missing? This happens every year, every time. When I have the one, it doesn't go missing. So I'm a mess. Whenever I have just the one, it never goes missing. But when I buy a second one, because I'm like, you know what? I want to preserve this until this is done so that I can have a spare one waiting for me because this stuff is not cheap. It goes missing. Please tell me why. Please tell me why. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Thank you so much to Mac. Oh, like the shock. I was so shocked. Where did it, where did it get delivered? Oh. oh my god I'm, guys I don't, I don't even know what to say because i wasn't expecting this um okay so we have chestnut which is one of my favorite liner um let me just open it so you can see i swear by this liner thank you max so much i swear by this liner i will swatch it for you next time they also sent a few lipsticks. We've got Keep Dreaming. This is, like MAC is definitely one of my first ever makeup brands to try, like high end, not drugstore, because I, I used to wear, I had all their lipsticks. My foundation was MAC. Now I use MAC Primer, Prep and Prime. I use the eyeliner, Ruby Boo, my fave. I use uh, the highlighted concealer. I use quite a few products from MAC. This is Keep Dreaming. Keep Dreaming um, lipstick. It's like a dark red. Like I said, I'm gonna swatch everything for you separately. I'm gonna show you a few and then I'll come back another time to show you there's another lip liner here it's called night moth this is interesting oh i've never tried this before so this is a lot more darker compared to oh is this a lip liner because it's really dark it's more like a red it reminds me of a lip liner i have from um oh my god what's this brand I have a lip liner similar to from this similar to this i have a, a similar lip liner to this from huda beauty i'm gonna swatch everything for you later but yeah uh oh another lip liner this is called ruby woo oh this is interesting they have a ruby woo lip liner i didn't even know but this looks a lot more lighter than than i expected though oh okay 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 interesting and then they also sent me velvet teddy this used to be one of my favorite lip um 
lipsticks from MAC. This was my favorite lipstick from MAC. Because you know I'm a nude girl. I've always been a nude girl. There we go. Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy. Oh, I'm so excited to use this. <laughs> I'm so excited, guys. <laughs> okay. I think that's it for today. I'll show you more later.